uh, Honorable Speaker. Uh, on the other side, let me thank uh, the Honorable Member for Endeavours and the Chairman of uh, the Health Committee uh, for this very interesting uh, piece of what Kenya should actually sign into an agreement and this House must ratify as soon as possible. Uh, Honorable Speaker, an international vaccine institute is important for both research and development. Uh, today, scientific institutes are intended to extend the frontiers of science and medicine. And as such, it was during the outbreak of Ebola in West Africa, and also slightly later, the pandemic of COVID, is when we saw the importance of having uh, these vaccine institutes, where those countries that are advanced in medicine and research were able to consolidate and mobilize scientists across the world to save humanity. And for that reason, from our side, I think we look at how much Camry is doing in this country in terms of research or new diseases and in terms of discovery of scientific methods and approach to both uh, medicine, both curative and preventive, and also helping the Ministry of Health under the WHO guidance on surveillance of diseases, particularly tropical diseases in uh, the less developed countries. Honorable Speaker, very interesting in Marsabet, there were the cases of Kalaza. It was not a common disease that used to be in our region. But as soon as those cases were discovered, the first patients succumbed. But later on, once the samples were taken to Camry, and I think some samples were taken to some countries in West Africa, it was discovered that uh, people from Marsabet in pockets, particularly in very rural uh, areas, had suffered from Kalaza, and they were able to uh, get treatment. Honorable Speaker, the world has made quantum leap, particularly in terms of scientific research in medicine. And for Kenya, allowing the growth of such institute will allow us to build body of human capital and also allow growth of institution. From where I sit, when we talk about institutes like IVI or even Camry and others, uh, not necessarily just in health but also in agriculture, I see that there is need to have satellite uh, institutions of these major institutions that are based in Nairobi to be able to expand that frontier of knowledge, to be able to uh, do good surveillance, discover of these diseases. Uh, so with those uh, many remarks, Mr. Speaker, I beg to support and I thank the chairman. Thank you.